Hi, this is Chuck from Angry Koala Gear, and I'm here with Jeremy Bullock at the Phoenix Comic Con. I would just like to thank you, and it's an honor for this interview opportunity here today. Uh, what are your thoughts so far of the con? Well, so far, here we are on Friday. I mean, yesterday it opened to the public, which is unusual to have so many days. But, but that's good. A lot of people said, I have to get back to work now, but they came in for 10 minutes. But just looking around here now, and it's a Friday, it's pretty busy because uh, people are still Memorial Day weekend but people are still working so we'll find more people coming in after work and then Saturday Sunday should be should be very busy yeah we think it's gonna be pretty large con last year was a great turnout and yeah. we see probably a greater turnout this year um, today's a big day in Star Wars 35th anniversary for New Hope and um, back then when you for part of the uh, first films, did you think it was going to be this big? Well, not not really, because of course, in then all those years ago, I didn't know I was going to be in Star Wars because a New Hope I wasn't in, mm -hmm. and Boba Fett appears in the Empire Strikes Back and then later Return of the Jedi. But I, no one knew. A lot of people thought, well, what, "What is this film? Is it going to be okay?" You never knew. But as soon as they, you saw that flying over you, you know, the Millennium Falcon. And people went, whoa, gee, this is something completely different. And luckily, because normally sequels in the history of filming never really make, never are going to be as good as the original. But I think The Empire Strikes Back is the equal of A New Hope, probably better. And so then you can go forward and then Return of the Jedi, another good film. So the trilogy actually worked. It all slotted together. And people say, why did you have episodes four, five, and six? One never knows, because then they did one, two, and three. But maybe four, five, and six, uh, the whole script was probably a better story than the one, two, and three. Yeah, and Empire Strikes Back was my favorite movie. Uh, you happen to be one of my favorite characters, portrayed one of my favorite characters in any of the films. Um, and you had such a short <laughs> part in there, but you're, you happen to be one of the most popular um, what are your thoughts about that? Well, I think it's amazing, you know, that you filmed all those years ago and I was in the theatre, also filming during the day, so I had two jobs at once and thought, this is quite fun. I mean, I'm playing this character, it's not too difficult, I suppose. And the only thing that I think I put in was the way he stood, the way he stands. That's how I think he should be. And the way he cuddles and just caresses his gun he loves that gun and I think as an actor you have to put in what you think he is but then you you get directed and said no we need you to go there Jeremy do this do that I was very fortunate to play the part of Boba Fett because it's grown in popularity after the original trilogy were there any parts that you did play um, by chance in the Star Wars universe? Well, in, well I played uh, Lieutenant Shekel in The Empire Strikes Back because there's no one. I, when I grabbed Princess Leia into the elevator, mm -hmm. it was quite, that was a, another day, dressed as a different character. I thought that was fun. Then I was called back for The Revenge of the Sith as um, Captain Colton. Again, very brief cameo role, but it, it was very nice for them to ask me and say, would you do it? I said, yes, that's fine. So I ended up playing three parts. And one last question. Peter Mayhew just had a chance to be uh, have a little part in the Clone Wars cartoon. Yeah. Um, if you were given that chance, would you participate in any way? Well, yeah, the Clone Wars, some, they asked me, would I do a voice for the Clone Wars? But I think this happens a lot that, you know, with the unions, the different unions you have, SAG and then Equity in London, there was no agreement, although they could have done it had me but you know that's that's life it, it would have been lovely to have played a character and be able to put on a different voice and that'd be good but so it hasn't happened maybe it will you never know if they do anymore well it's a great honor to be able to interview you and uh, just to meet you and we thank you again and uh, uh, we just want to thank Jeremy Bullock